Hello everybody, I am OnlyTrooper7, this is Do Dodgy Kebab, and today I am playing Hell Yeah! Wrath of the Dead Rabbit. It's by Sega, uh, it's quite good, actually the gameplay works pretty well, as you're about to watch and find out. Um, there's a few little uh, jokes and stuff thrown in. Uh, it's got one of these unskippable intros, where it's about the rabbit, and he's in hell, and he's like the king. Um, now, he's, uh, yeah, he's the king. But then he's in the bath and he's playing with his duck. And what the fuck? Seriously? That's a duck? A duck? Anyway, he has his picture taken, which obviously royal people don't like having duck when they're relaxing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so he gets angry and he wants to get his pictures back. So he's going to kill a load of people in hell. Technically, they're already dead. I don't know how that works, but it does. Anyway, so you've got these intermittent like loading screens where you've got random, not so useful advice, jokey joke. Um, and this crap elevator music, which I suppose works pretty well, actually. Each monster is unique. Each has two different names. Go to the monster index. Mm. Anyway, so, let's load in. And we're here. There we go. So, we're a rabbit. And we're in hell. And uh, so what we're going to do, I suppose, we're going to run across all this molten stuff and first of all, right, so we've got to get weapons and pictures back. So, <coughs> come on. So we're going to click these things for some sort of reason. I think they that's where you get your money from and so you can buy weapons and other miscellaneous tap through the game. And that's a wall which you can't go through yet. Anyway, so it's look, starting to look good, and yep, that's an enemy. So try, try and try and avoid them. Run up this bit. Um, there. And now, now, what the fuck is that? You see? Now look, you can run across these little bits of fire. The whole bit is molten, but that little bit of fire that comes up there, no. So. Are you sh you know you got to realise what bits you what bits of background what bits you can run on which ones you can't that one you can it's a bit of a mess really having fire and Nestor hello Nestor I seem to remember you from a Nes magazine but never mind never mind he's going to give us advice and crap through the game and tell us how to use the functions cheers. I never like these things. I don't know why they just can't say as you're running along and just have a quick little, little tool tip. Like, see, at the top there, that's all they needed. That's all they needed. Just that little, hey, look, it's new, it's zoom, you press the button, look. It's not as if anyone couldn't read that and work it out. Now, I don't think they need to stop the flow of the game. Just have some bell end talk about it. Anyway. And it's one of the little dudes from Plyo Plyo, if you ever remember that puzzle game. Also called Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine in uh, England and America. And he's well happy with himself because he's behind the wall. Yeah, walls can be broken, just like your face. So we're going to need some sort of weapon to drill through and kick his ass. The thing is, I actually played this once through before I'd done the video, and I didn't get hurt on any of these enemies. But when I se second I started filming, I done absolutely poor. As you can see in the top left, fuck! Blood is running out almost. Anyway, so we're going to get the first 
first main weapon of the game. I do one! Now again, they didn't need all this all this crap thing there, did they? With the geezer talking, all they needed again is just the little tool tip in the top right hand corner just to do it. Look, that's all they needed that. That would have done. And now I've got this big wheel of death and some smash for everything. Anyway, Big Wheel of Death is actually quite fun to control and uh, the longer you hold down the bar, the more you jump up, it's uh, really good. Now we can smash that little plyo plyo knob in here and kick his ass. Every time you kill like, one of these main enemies, you get this, you get a like, little quick game. And that one I just have to press X button really quick. There's all different weird ones that you'll see as we go through this video. Let's check out this monster index. There he is. But yeah, definitely from Plyo Plyo. As you can read in the description there. So we go through here. The door didn't really do anything. Because we had to kill the enemy to get past it, so what the fuck was going on there? Shit, kill some more of these dudes. Now, I can't remember what that enemy was from. It was from something that I can't remember. No, but quick tacking going. Which leads to another like, little fun animation. But I can't remember what that enemy was from. Like the little turd looking thing with chainsaw sticking out of his head. I'm sure somebody in the comments will really let me know. But this one you just gotta press the X button with the eye in the right place. And then steak comes out. Lots of steak. Cool. Anyway, so that's the idea. You kill the main enemies in the level, which opens the doors. Once you open the doors, you can progress to the next section of the of the level. It's all pretty, uh, pretty obvious stuff. But again, they need all these tutorials again because they think that the game is some sort of total utter fucking idiot who's not going to understand it unless they have some crap text. Anyway, look, little reference to Sonic there. It's an enemy that I can't just drive straight into because he's got electric around him, so that will kill me if I touch him, especially now with this amount of health. But luckily there's a, like a life up bit up there with blood's coming out and refuels your energy. So you just stand in the blood flying bit and get you all your energy back. Which is good. Bum looking thing. It does look like an arse, doesn't it? Whee! Still with that weird fire thing, you don't know what is going to be dangerous and what is not. I mean, obviously some of them, that's where you're going to go and take, take out the boss. But obviously some are pretty obvious, like the one made a point of hitting the kid. Oh, that's Fuck that. Fucked it up again. It is rather easy, but I don't know why I can fuck it up. You know, you get a nice little animation, so you killed him. It 
sometimes that little wheel can be a bit annoying, but... Anyway, so this is the shop where you can buy evil crap to make yourself look different, which does, does nothing. And there's weapons and upgrades and stuff for later on. But I don't have that money and it's locked at the moment. You know, so you buy the missiles. And let's buy one of these things just to just so I can say I have. Now that looks like the Fatal Fury cap, which thingy wears in the uh, yeah, well, Fatal Fury and the and the King of Fighters games. Here's the time when we get to try it. See, they got a tool tip over there, just for firing the gun. Good. Didn't need anything more than that, did they? Now those bits are obviously fire death. Even though I'm walking the bombs and lava the whole time. But I think I can jump back because I've got quite a good jump. I don't know you can see all the other monsters there foaming at the mouth there. Blah, blah, blah. Still don't know where that's from. Might be from Plyo Plyo. Might be. I d just can't remember. It'll probably come back to me once I've finished uploading the video with the death. So yeah, don't jump in the fire. Not a good idea. Just go the other way. But I've still got the gun, so it's alright. And the checkpoint was right there. And that's the secret room. Get all that shizzle. Get some more of these diamonds and that. Impossible drill, we'll see that. So obviously those blocks probably, even though it's an impossible to drill, we'll probably be able to get something later on because you can just drill through it. Because let's say it's impossible to drill over any other stuff, which you can't actually drill through. And now I've got the gun, I'll be able to shoot that geezer in the well, brain. So I'll be going wee! And across. Whoa! Now shooting. Yep. Just trying to remember what the button was, that's it. Uh, over 9,000? Uh, oh no, what the fuck. Carrot missiles. Obviously, because it's a rabbit. And now the boss is open. So what we've got to do is just go back to the boss, get some health actually, be an idea. The farm door is open, what are you waiting for? Buttons go in. And now we've got the boss encounter. And they have this little crap talk before they start. funny that the prince or king or whatever he is these days of hell, this rabbit, and there's people that don't know who he is. He's a boss of a level in what I assume is hell where he comes from lives, and he doesn't know who this rabbit is. What's going on with that? You would have thought everyone would have known. No, it doesn't matter. Just a plot. 
Anyway, so I've got the missile and I'm just going to shoot these guys in the face. So just wide around left and right, just keep shooting, 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 and avoid that crap that comes down. See the boss's bar, health bar at the top there, so you can see how much damage you're causing with missiles. All that stuff's pretty easy to avoid. So all you've got to do is just strut your strafe left and right until that part of the level disappears and you fall down, go to the next sec section. Thing, just blasting more missiles again. You can see on the bottom right you've got the ammo thing, where obviously when it's low you can't shoot. You've got to wait till you at least got a bar. On this segment, all he's doing, he goes to one side, he throws out these little missile things which you just got to get out of the way. And it's pretty obvious where he's back here because it says warning 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 then this segment segment, the segment disappears and you're on the third and final bit and in this bit you just go in the door and shoot with some missiles then just shoot with the ship but don't get don't let them get too close to the building otherwise you will get fucked So we'll try that again. Or rather, jump cut to the next part. Right, back on this, this part again. Because you don't want to see me doing all that again. So, yeah, get in there, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, and get the fuck out quick. And just go oh, somewhere else. Missile him to talk about get him over. Missiles, 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 missiles. Get once he's over the side, then just plow into him with that. And that's it! He's dead. First level boss over. Back to the lift music. And we're pretty much done. A little bit of crap cup scene, just, just to sort of set the mood on and start raising some questions get you uh, hyped to do the next bit. Anyway, that's it. So I'll see you probably for another part at some point soon. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.